Hi, this is Rob Curto here at Liberty Bellows in Philadelphia. In our last video, we learned to play the melody of Azabranca with the right hand with a bayon groove in the left hand. This week, we're going to learn some new techniques to further elaborate on our arrangement of Azabranca. Here's a quick review of the left hand bayon pattern. Note the syncopated pattern. Each beat of our 2-4 is divided into four sixteenth notes. One-e, and a, two-e, and a. Our first note, the bass note, is on the downbeat. Then we play a chord on the fourth sixteenth note. This is an anticipation of the second beat and it creates a more syncopated feel. Now let's add to the left hand pattern by playing the melody in the right hand plus an additional rhythmic pattern also in the right hand that comes from the triangle. Here's a Brazilian style triangle. This instrument plays 16th notes that drive the rhythm of the ensemble. It sounds like this. Note that there's an open accent on the end of each beat. One e and a, two e and a, one e and a, two e and a. We're going to borrow this percussion part for the right hand of the accordion. One e and a, two e and a, one e and a, two e and a. So now if we add to this by playing a quarter note on the downbeat of each beat and then playing the triangle part while holding the quarter note we discover a very valuable technique for playing Brazilian music and for playing any kind of groove on the accordion. Now, every time I play a quarter note with my pinky or fourth finger, I'm going to fill in the rest of the pattern with these fingers. Now, depending on which note is on top, I'm going to use a different inversion of the chord on the bottom. So if we're on a G chord and my melody is a G, we're going to use the root position like this. If my melody is a B, we're going to use the first inversion. If my melody is a D, we're going to use the second inversion. We're going to do the same thing in C and D. Let's try the melody of Asa Branca with this technique. Note that for the sake of simplicity, we're using mostly major triads in our right hand. Toward the end, I added the seventh on the D7 chord. Always remember that we have four sixteenth notes per beat. One E and a, two E and a. And to play Brazilian music, or really any groove, we need to feel those sixteenth notes all the time. <laughs> Now that we've played the melody of Asa Branca with the bayon pattern in the left hand, the melody and the rhythmic triangle part in the right hand, let's explore the use of the bellows shake or hesfolego. 
to play the introduction to Asa Branca. This creates much more rhythmic propulsion and is a very common technique in Brazilian music. Now, if we play the bellows shake just using a G bass note, it sounds like this. Note that I'm keeping the bottom of the bellows completely closed and that I'm opening and closing the top part in a steady stream of 16th notes. Now, if we add the biome pattern while playing these 16th notes, it sounds like this. If you practice this very slowly, you'll notice the following. First, we hold the bass note for three 16th notes. Then we'll play the chord on the fourth one. So it's out, in, out, in. Now, the second beat plays an eighth note on the downbeat and another eighth note on the upbeat. If we put it all together, it sounds like this. And faster, we get... Each eighth note in the right hand is going to become doubled, and we're going to have sixteenth notes that sound like this. One, two, one. Now, putting both hands together, we get... Congratulations on learning to play this complete arrangement of the Brazilian tune, Asa Branca. We've now completed the first unit of our video series on Brazilian music and groove creation on the accordion. Stay tuned for our next unit where we will explore the Fajó groove. Here it is, Asa Branca, one more time.